All right, this is going to be Chrono Cross part one. Um, or maybe it won't be. What's this thing doing? There we go. Super glitchy when you go. games it is just glitch tastic but hopefully I have it figured out now can't uprender those old FMVs very well <laughs> Nikki says, what is it, Bunny? You look troubled. For some reason, I have to... There we go. Uh, this is it. There's no turning back now. Kid says, come on, Bunny. Nikki. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. Ha ha ha. Actually, yeah, there we go. Oh boy. Nikki just says bunny, and off we go. Let's fix some things really quick here. to fix this too. That way I don't have to hold multiple buttons down. There we go. Kind of annoying that it shifts to black for so long. It's not as if this game actually loads anything. Anyways, we turned that switch off. Kid says, what the bloody hell just happened? What are we going to do out here? Wow, so high up. Is this thing floating? Nikki says, did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? Kid says, this sure is some fort. Right, Bunny? Kid says, you alright, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? Just stay on your toes, okay? says a mysterious voice. Good morning. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. Bunny woke up to find the time egg in his hands. Anyways. Lena says, you're late, bunny. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. 
You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo, Bunny, Lena, look at me, say the kids. Come on, you should join us, it feels really good. Lena says, unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha, says the kid. Lena says, kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that, not a single care or worry on our minds? How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to the reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault that you were late. Once you collect some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you? I say, sure, no problem. Lena says, good, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't just stand around, go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see, I think three should be about enough. Good luck, bunny, I'm counting on you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh we don't want to go in there. Oh man. Alright. Gotta be careful where and when I use that fast forward function. Otherwise it's kind of more annoying than it's worth. Alrighty. Where'd that fucker go? He must have scared it off. Oh, uh, I don't want it to run into the ocean. We got our first Komodo Dragon skill, once this stupid thing dies. I think I gotta go up here. These battles are like so slow. Slower than I remember. in my way. Game looks amazing for a PS1 game now. It's crazy. Oh, that's got such a delay to it. It's really annoying. There we go.
All right, and now we need the third one. This is the place where you just have to chase the little asshole, which is not fun. Mommy. Goodbye, Mommy. Anyways, I think we are good now. Anyways, Lena says, there you are. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Bunny. Well, how did it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales? Lena says, oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Bunny. Sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come here all the time. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since before we were born. It seems... It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things and heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey, Bunny. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves. Just the two of us talking. Do you remember that day? Uh, I remember. Lena says, really, you do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? That makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait waiting for that right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday, in 10 or 20 years, when we've all grown up, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own. Then one day, when that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I'll just say, we'll never forget this day. Lena says, I hope you're right. Bunny, there's something I've been wanting to... Another voice says, Bunny. Lena says, what's wrong? Bunny. Oh my. Oh my. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. 
You alright, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of hers? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Yo. That's probably my all-time favorite song, Dream of Another Shore. Oh, god damn it, that's annoying. Alright, fishies, go away. Whoops. Gosh darn it. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get away from these stupid things. Lena says, who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? That kid says, hey you. Don't be trying to pull any moves on our Lena, you jerk. Lena says, don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, says the kid. Lena says, I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. You know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Uh, I'm just gonna say... What was his name? Lena says, why do you want to know his name? That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was... Bunny. I just say I'm Bunny. Lena says, you're Bunny. Stop that, it's not even funny. The boy is dead, don't you understand? That boy, I guess I kind of liked him. If he were still alive today, I wonder what, have, what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Bunny's gonna come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on a lost loved one. You can find his grave on Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. <laughs> ah, gosh, diggity darn it. Alright, let's get out of Meower. Just try to avoid as many encounters as possible. There's some writing on the tombstone. R.I.P. Our beloved bunny died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So, you must be Bunny, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Don't move. It's no use. There's no escape that way. 
All you have to do is come with us. But, Sir Karsh, do you think it is truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. Karsh says, that doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't he? Now, seize him. Hold your horses, says a voice in the distance. Car says, who the? Out of the way, missy. You don't want to get hurt, do you? The girl says, shut your trap. You're the ones who better get out of the way. This dragoon says, you have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, missy? Car says, that's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you, so just come with us, or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. The girl says, for crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm going to kick your sorry asses so hard you'll kiss the moon. Car says, fair enough, you leave us no choice. You'll regret this, missy. Anyways. Anyways, the one of the dragoons said, We've analyzed this color and it's white. Attack him with the opposite element black. Salt says, How unfortunately unfortunate. I don't seem to have any, sir. Car says, You nincompoop. You should always carry elements of every cover. How about you there? Pepper says, I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let Sir Car show us how it's done. Car says, Useless fools. Real men don't need magic when they can fight with all their might. Yeah, he's no better. He doesn't have it either. Papora says, Sir Karsh, I say we shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. These aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. Karsh says, Damn cowards, as for you, Missy, we won't forget this. The girl says, Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? You all right, mate, says the girl. Bunny, your name's Bunny, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed the bloody hell out of me. I wish I could have beat them up some more. But why was that mob after ya? What do you mean you've never even met him before? Ah, uh, forget it. Hey bunny, how about you and me team up for a little while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. So how about it? Perhaps it was fate that we would meet up like this. Uh, let's see. I'll just say travel together. Kid says, beauty mate. That decides it then. We're real good mates now. Anyway, it's getting dark soon. I suggest we head to Arnie and shack up for the night. Oh, and Bunny, don't go trying any funny stuff just because I'm cute. Alright, let's get our asses down to Termina. Oh yeah, mate, I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. It's a real handy gadget. All you have to do is, well, it's a pain in the ass. To explain, look it up in the menu. Yo. Huh? What are you guys doing in my house? This isn't a playground for you kids. Who's Marge? 
I've lived in this house for five years. That name doesn't ring a bell. Whatever with all your gibberish. Just get out of here. supposed to go. Several years ago, when the hydra died off, this woodland became covered with a thick fog and the waters become polluted and acidic. But the real cause was us humans killing off the flora and fauna. I just hope we don't come to regret the destruction we've caused. Hmm. What are you guys doing walking around these marshes in such light clothing? Damned amateurs, don't expect me to save you when you die of poisoning. The captain says, hey, you gotta be crazy to walk around without protective gear. I have an extra set. Take them. Okay. Oh, and watch out for the monsters. We haven't explored these parts yet. We don't know how to get there. If you want to go deeper into the forest, you need the proper equipment. Okay. We just got the proper equipment. Well, I can't go any of these places. It's been a while since I've played this game, so... I think later in the game you can like fight some bird and it like fast travels you or something if I remember correctly. Where was that little guy? I found a bushwhacker, whatever the hell that is. How rude. Mm. Why can't I just, like, stay on that thing? Hmm. Oh, that's an enemy. Thought it, like, would do something. can do here. I'm poisoned, eh?
Okie dokie. The surface is too slippery to climb. Ah, uh, shut up, dude. He just says, without safety gear, you will be able to walk around unharmed, which we already knew. Okay. Well, we gotta get out of here, because there's nothing in there for me. Our excavation is nearly complete. Stick to the low path and make your way through. We still have some of our men working on the high ground, so do not interfere with their work. Ah, oh, boy. some things really quick. Sounds useful. Yeah, the rest is just materials, so that doesn't really matter.
That's fine for now. Let's get some stuff on him too. Already on there. Uh, that's fine for now. We... Are you the exorcists we sent for? I say yes, and then he lets us pass. Okay. You're... You took longer than I expected. Do you hear that howling sound? We want you to stop that noise. Okay. Nya nya nya, looks like I'm causing quite the stir. I've been waiting forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, huh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body, and I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through, don't you? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body parts. How about it? Will you help me find it? I'm heavier than I look, but don't mind. Uh, don't swing me around too much. It'll make me feel nauseous. Okie dokie. Hey, don't go down there. I think there's a monster. Oh, stupid enemies. Anyways, that bastard is dead. Uh oh. It's dipshit and other dipshit. Pepper says, shake it. We can't just shake it on back to the manor like this. We failed our mission. Salt says, that was awfully awful back there, Pepper. I want a rematch. Pepper says, by the way, do you remember what kind of outfit he was shaking? 
Salt says, hmm. Just something just like that, Pepper. Pepper says, oh good, you remember. He looked like that, huh? Salt says, actually, it is him, Pepper. Pepper says, so you're sure about that? Salt says, wonderful timing. Pepper says, let's shake it. We're gonna really shake it to you this time. Hope you like salt and pepper puns, because those aren't ever going away. Salt says, this time I made sure to bring a black element with me, Pepper. Oh boy. And it froze, because of course it did. That's annoying. Well, none of my controls are working, so I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell went wrong. Let's see. It doesn't work, I'll just have to figure it out later. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop this recording and fix this. Alright, I got it fixed. Pepper says, good work. Shake it up and attack him with it. Salt says, affirmative. Jeez, I don't know what happened with that, but... Oh dear. That was no black attack you used. You just may... It was a black element that makes your foe more susceptible to attacks of the opposite color attribute white, wasn't it? Salt says, I'm afraid you're right. How terrible. Papora says, you did bring a white attack element with you, though, didn't you? If you didn't... You're more stupid than I thought. Salt says, ugh, how awfully awful. I'm afraid I didn't, Pepper. Anyways. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It is just being a brat today. like we got it back on track. Salt says retreat. Pepper says let's shake it on out of here. Alright, where do we go now? I guess Termina. Sorry, I'm out of bellflowers. There's a big ruckus down in Fossil Valley. Men from the Dragoons were setting roadblocks in the valley. I'll get some in a few days, so come back then. The man says, You have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to protect you as Acacia Dragoons. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. That guy says, That's alright. I can get my flowers from other places. Never mind that. I haven't seen Karsh around here lately. How's he doing? The young man says, he said he was going ghost hunting down south. I'm just a private, so I do not know for certain, but I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to go. The man says a ghost, now that is something. I just hope it's not a sign of a coming disaster. If you ever see him, give him my regards. The young man says, I'll do that. Kid says, oi, did you hear that? Karsh is that bastard we saw at the cape. And that ghost he's hunting, isn't that you, mate? So that Acacia Dragoon mob is behind this after all. Let's check this place out a little bit more. This person says, who is that? 
Oh, you don't know what he, who he is? You must be travelers. That boy is dear sweet Glenn. It surprises me to see that naughty little boy grown up so mature. It really makes me feel my age. Alrighty. Let's see. Authorized personnel only. This area is off limits. Keep out. Master Viper, I'm here to polish your statue again, says this dude. And that's how the six great dragons sealed the dark evil and restored peace to the land. The dragons really exist, says the little girl. The mom says, it's a fairy tale. Alrighty, anyways... Yeesh. Such a long dialogue sequence. And this lady says, yes, who might you pee? The person says, Grandma, they're travelers. I'm so sorry, my eyes have become really weak in my old age. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nope. Hmm. Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. Anything from reading your destiny to searching for the missing. Do you wish your fortune to be read? I say yes. Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? You just might be the key to the destruction of the entire planet. But I can't say for sure. Fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful for now. Kid says, hey bunny, that's nothing but rubbish. Let's hurry up and get moving. In your eyes, I perceive both the look of a beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end, my dear. A dream lies in wait, reaching out to you engulf you. Kid says, sorry, Mom, I don't believe in fortune telling. La the fortune teller says, Lassie, you should listen to your elder's advice. Kid says, I don't give a damn. Let's go, bunny. Okay. Hello there, come and see for yourself. This is the prize of all prizes, a live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids. Unfortunately, it's not for sale. She's my most valuable item. So what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal. She's really alive. Her pure, clear skin like it's made from crystal. Her gem-like eyes? She's the ultimate collector's item. Nature's creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. The kid says, is this thing really alive? Hey, come on, look over this way. Look how beautiful she is, says the other kid. Korcha says, Hey you, you think this is fun? How would you feel if you were trapped in that tank? The kids say, Ah, it's Korcha, run. 
The proprietor says, Korcha, you again. Stop bothering my customers. Korcha says, what customers? You're selling a bunch of bull. Why didn't you keep the tank uncovered when I showed up? Hey everyone, this shop is a bunch of baloney. The proprietor says, shut your mouth. Don't you say such ridiculous things. Get back to your demi-human friends. Korcha says, I won't take that from a sleaze bag like you. Hey, you guys, you're not from around here, are ya? Don't you wander around too much or you're gonna get burned. Watch your back. That's Korcha. He's from Goldov. I wonder why he hangs around here in Termina. You shouldn't mess with the likes of him. He's nothing but trouble. Oh boy. Apparently everybody has a five paragraph story to tell me. What business brings you here? There's only a shrine. You shouldn't disturb the resting place of the brave who have fought valiantly. This is no place for outsiders to wander around. Okay. Uh, apparently whoever lives in that house is out on an errand elsewhere. Bonk, bonk. How do I get over there? The young lady says she was out of flowers. That's unfortunate. Let's pray without them. The young man says, hmm? Is that a bellflower? Would you be so kind as to give up that flower? We need it for our prayer. I'm gonna say, give it up for free. The man says, are you sure? I thank you deeply. The young lady says, please let me offer you my gratitude as well. The souls that rest beneath this sword loved this flower in life. That is why we always bring some here when we pray. Dario, here's a bellflower that you used to love so much. Soon the flower seed shall sprout, grow leaves, and bloom flowers everywhere. And we shall age another year, while you will remain the same in memory. The young man says, Father, brother. The young lady says, It is such a mystery, the sword never rusts, even when left in the rain. It seems as if the souls of its masters live within it. Do you not think so, Glenn? Glenn says yes. I have engraved in my memory the lives of my father and brother who had wielded the sacred sword Einlanzer. The young lady says, let us hope that is true. Glenn says, what do you mean by that, Miss Hottie? I can't allow even you to. Hottie says, do you think there is something odd about the dragoons of late? Daddy's face shows such anguish and even Karsh was saying, he was sent on a ghost hunt. Anyways, I think her actual name is Riddell. Everyone has been acting oddly ever since that beastly guest arrived at the manor. Glenn, promise me to always keep the unclouded truth in sight. Do not be swayed by the masses. The splendor of the Einlanser must not be tarnished. As you wish. Oh, forgive me. I just found it a little awkward to hear you say such words. Glenn says, a chill wind has ris risen. Shall we return to the manor? Riddell says, of course. And then they go away. Beneath, beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. 13th, Acacia, Dragoon, Grandmaster, Jirai, and Dario. Porcha says, and that guy rushed and hit it as soon as it got there. It was a hilarious sight. That person says, that's great. Korcha says, oops, I got customers. I'll get you some big fish next time you come by. All right, Korcha, but is it really going to be big this time? You only ever catch small fry. Your boating skills are first class, but your fishing skills suck. Korcha says, shut up. That guy says, see ya. Korcha says, oh, it's you guys. You're tourists, right? The festival's a waste of time. My name's Korcha. I'm here from Goldov, working as a ferryman. I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. I take money, but don't worry, it isn't that much. My boating skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. I don't know why this keeps being crazy. I think it's just my controller likes to disconnect. The kid says, we've got business to take care of, so there's no time for a pleasure cruise. See ya. Korcha says, all right, if you ever want to get anywhere by boat, swing by. Okay.
Zippa says, Welcome, this is the official blacksmith of the Acacia Dragoons. We carry only the best goods. Come and take a look. Anyways, Zippa says, do you have any iron? We've been out of it for the longest time. We could make stronger items if we had iron. That guy just basically tells me not to talk to that guy. Don't let customers back here. Yeah, whatever. Cup. First place, Sir Dario. It's the lucky charm, lucky the cat. Profiteer purse. figure out I'm kind of like lost here Person's just talking about Nikki, who is a musician. Guile says, My name is Guile. I'm having a certain bet with the fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I shall win. If I cannot, I shall lose. As there is a trick behind any mysterious magic, there is no such thing as an impregnable fortress. What the hell am I supposed to do? Have missed something. Hmm. 
Authorization is required to pass through. Now beat it. Okay. We cannot allow you to go beyond this point. I ask that you turn back. The hell? Hmm. I don't know, maybe I need to sleep. Alright, all squeaky queen. It's got to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you come to see the Viper Festival? Termina is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of Master Viper. At, ti ugh. at times warm, at times strict, Master Viper watches over us always. With that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with the Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It's a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with one blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not for you folks. You'll most likely get a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho ho ho. Kid says, alright, that's settled, we're gonna sneak into the manor. You gotta find out what those dragoons are up to, right? Why well, was Karsh trying to capture ya? I've got some business there as well, so I'll go with ya. How about it? I say, okay. Kid says, it's the obvious choice, right? According to Grandpa here, the this Viper Manor is a bloody large place, which also means it'll be easy to break into. There's gotta be more than one way in. If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Okay. So I must have missed that. And now... We have to get one of these people to join our party. Anyways, we ask for his help. The fuck? Guile says, once you find a boat, leave the rest to me and I shall guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bet is located in the manor's mess hall. Alright. Porcha says, back again, I'll take you wherever you want. Kid says, can you take us to Viper Manor? Corcha says, what are you going to do up there? Are you going to steal treasure? Kid says, don't snoop into your customer's privacy. Are you taking us or what? Corcha says, as long as you can pay. If you want to get me... He says, I don't know how to get there, so you have to bring a guide. Guile says, I'll guide you. Corcha says, are you sure you can get into a place like that? Guile says, yes, trust me. All you need to do is prepare the boat. Corcha says, you got it, but it'll cost you. Pay me a hundred bucks. All right. Come on, get on board. It's a little tight with four of us, but it'll be a short trip. Don't worry about... Don't worry about it. Anyway...
Hey, those guys didn't listen to me. Jeez. That's hilarious. Wow, it's Korcha. Don't you think it's dangerous? Guile says indeed. We'll make it though. Kid says you sound confident. Let's get our asses in gear. Huh? Intruders, begin the stone thrust. Rar. Arg. Anyways. Oh no, ten hit points. Doesn't look like I can go that way. Or that way, perhaps. Um, I found a meteorite. I found a free fall. What the heck? How do I get out of this place? Mm. Oh, okay. I guess I can go this way. supposed to go Maybe. oh they made it up let this be the end of you hiya some of this. Oops. Huh? Uh, I guess they summoned a bird man. Yep, it wanted to freeze again, so let me just fix that.
Goodbye, Birdman. We hardly knew thee. Going on. There we go. All right. Kid says, "Bunny, we're inside the premises. Let's wait here till nightfall." Hey, stop right there. How did you get in? apparently is locked. Kid says, bloody hell, I knew it. Let's check out back. Okay. Intruders. Oh, jeez. Was there just infinite enemies? Oh. Maybe just three rounds. The guy says, who are you? You must be the new helpers. I say, that's right. He says, you're just in time. My back gave out and I can't feed the dragons. Kid says, do you have the key to the manor? The guy says, sure do. Wouldn't mind giving it to you if you take on the job. Kid says, do it, bunny. Will you feed them? Sure. All you have to do is feed the dragons and satisfy their hunger. I'll give you a nicer gift depending on how many times you feed the dragons. Um... I don't know, I don't want to deal with it. He says, I'll be counting. Good luck to you.
good. A job well done. The key is in the cupboard, and here's that gift. Alrighty. So now I should be able to get into that stupid place. And good, all those enemies stay dead. Hmm. There's a knob with some numbers. Um, Intruders, how did you get past our security? I can't believe you would fall for a trap like this. What should we do with these fools? Kid laughs and the dragoon says, what's so funny? Kid says, you're a bunch of dag nuts. You're asking for it, take it easy. Kid says, so you're afraid of us, chicken. This should be interesting, let's teach him a lesson. Open it up. Kid says, bring it on, chums. It says, why don't we disguise ourselves with these suits? Alright, what to do now? This is the treasure vault. Gigi. computer being dumb. Let's see. I found a dragoon's honor. What? It fell down again? How many times do I have to tell you? It's blank to the right and blank to the left. Got it? Glenn says, I better write this down before I forget. The code for that trapdoor changes every week. Random numbers won't work. I don't think they're telling me anything interesting. Hmm. Glenn says, I better write that down over and over again. Permission to enter. Get back to your post. Hey you, that's a evil chest from hell.
Anyways, I found locked from the inside. So many doors, so many whores. The Harlequin says, please shut up. Even the doors are enemies. Good god, man. Can you not go in this room? Weird. Do not enter. Please go around. Okay. Seriously? It's locked. Alright. There's a message on the wall. Nine to the right, seven to the left. This thing just loves disconnecting for no reason. That guy won't let me over, so there's got to be a different way. says he has a key, but I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to go. Uh, those were all just rooms. go around. Oh boy. What's with you guys? Say the password. Alright. <laughs> the password is silence. You may enter. Yeah. 
thing anyways. Kid says, this is great, but it looks like the frozen flame isn't here. Oh well, let's just take whatever is here. Of course. There's armor. I don't know, let's see. There's treasure on the wall. Let's see. Take it cautiously. Guile says, this must be a trap. We should leave it alone. Kid says, whatever. Just grab it. He received the silver pendant. Guile says, I told you. Kid says, it's a minor slip up, but we got the treasure. This woman walks over here and says, oh? The woman says, quiet. You too, Pip. Hmm. I see that you are not dragoons. Kid says, well, the woman says, no matter, come out. Kid says, who are you and why are you helping us? The woman laughs and says, who said anything about helping? I'm the scientific genius of Viper Manor. Please call me Lucia. You will be my guinea pigs. Finish them. It's Pico from... Breath of Fire 3, basically. Lucia says, wonderful, you exceeded my expectations. Now please leave. Mystery Lifeform says, I am Pip. I want to sail the seas on a big ship. Alrighty. Lucia says, wait. I'm extremely interested in you. I cannot leave right now, but come by when you need my help. I'll be willing to help you someday. Just kill this stupid thing. We got a brown helmet, a statue of a snack, a decor see shield. This guy says, watch out for traps, don't touch anything. A suit of armor missing a shield. Bunny received the shield. Hmm. Oh, I see.
I would think I could put that shield there, but it just isn't letting me do anything. Let's just get out of here. I don't think there's anything I need anyway. It's a kitty. Only I can open that. give me anything basically he was just explaining like that there's only three divas because the fourth diva died or something that was Dario and Dario is engaged to Riddell and he's the only one who could wield the Einlanzer he said who are you he says I'm one of the four divas my name is Karsh who is Bunny I had orders to bring in that ghost who died ten years ago. He seemed too human to be a ghost, though. What do I want? Who's General Viper? The General is the head of the Viper Clan. He's governed for three generations. He retired from the army. Okay. The manor was built a hundred years ago. Treat it with respect. What's the frozen flame? That's classified. <laughs> That's how many times. Fine, take it. Hilarious. Asshole. There's something blocking the way. Guess not. Alright, well, we got that door open. Some of those that'll let me fight, and others it won't for some reason. So like, what are you doing here? Dragoons aren't allowed up here. Kid says, we're not dragoons. The girl says, what are you talking about? So like, what's your point? The old man says, what is it, Marcy? Is someone there? Marcy says, some weirdos. The old man says, lower the ladder, please. Marcy says, all right. You must not be dragoons. You must be bunny. My, how you've grown. Marcy says, can I kill him yet? The old man says, patience. I need to have a word with these people. Kid says, who are you, and how do you know Bunny? The old man says, how do I explain? I guess you could say I'm the prophet of time. Listen carefully. The world is not just a singular entity. Another world similar to our own exists in another dimension. There you will find what you might have become, a world of possibilities that might have existed, a whole history that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. We are simply unable to see, feel, or experience it. 
Oh my. Bunny, this world is not the world you grew up in. Ten years ago, something happened that put your very soul teetering on the balancing scales of fate. With a 50-50 chance of life or death. This is when your future was split in two. In your home world, you survived to live a happy and prosperous life. That is how you made it to the present point in time. However, here in this alternate world, you are in fact dead and buried. You died ten years ago, but this world's timeline has flowed on regardless. You have no place in this world. Here you are but a ghost brought back from the past. I do not know what happened ten years ago, nor can I guess what triggered your entrance into this world. The locations where such divisions in the time call in the... The locations where such divisions in the time-space continua occur are called Angelus Are, where angels lose their way. It is said that there, the borders of two dimensions fluctuate in such a way as to make the passage between the parallel realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle. And maybe, just maybe, the vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle. Of course, no one can say for sure. However, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Depending on the location, the two worlds influence each other in strange ways. I'm quite certain that there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. For your information, if you press the start button while you're on the world's map, a, m eh. a menu window will appear that allows you to display which world you are in, your home world or another world. Select on to display this. Kid says, if what you say is true, and this world is an alternate reality, then why the hell did Bunny die? The reason has to be something that happened ten years ago. The prophet says, you can only find out by moving on. Marcy says, there's no way I'm going to let you. Kid says, shut up, you little brat. Marcy says, can I? The prophet says, it cannot be helped. This may be fate itself. Kid says, we ain't here to play jacks. The prophet says, I advise you not to take Marcy lightly. This child is one of the four divas. Kid says, this little brat? Marcy says, too late now. Say bye-bye. You think you're so smart? How about this? Did nothing. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm on a new game plus file, so I'm overpowered as fuck. I do it for the sake of efficiency. Marcy says, it's not over yet, I'll get you next time. And runs away. The prophet says, I didn't think you'd be able to defeat her. Very well, I'll advise you on your next step. There are eight pillars in the main hall. Behind the second to the last pillar, on the left is a button to release the platform. Dragoons are not allowed up there, so it's best you go up as you are now. Beware, however, there is a much stronger being that you will encounter. Fancy. Kid says, Who are you? The Harlequin says, are you Bunny? You are even more sexy than I thought. Ooh la la. Kid says, who the hell are you? The Harlequin says, and this vulgar one must be Kid. You disgust me. Kid says, what did you say? If you're going to insult someone, you should at least learn to speak proper English. The Harlequin says, je m'appelle Harley. I am the right hand Harlequin to Monsieur Lynx. Bunny. If you lie down with a dog like this femme, you'll catch fleas, no? I think you can do much better if you gave her up. Actually, I suggest you turn back. You should not defy him. Kid says, what's your problem? Harley says, please, Bunny. I would hate to see anything sad happen to you. Kid says, I've had it up to here with you. Harley says, shut up. I'm having a conversation with Bunny. Mind your own business. Kid says, that's it. Put up your dukes. I'm going to kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moon. 
Harley says, you are the one who is going to have her derriere kicked. But alas, I cannot be caught fighting you here. Imagine the trouble I would get into. Au revoir, bunny. See you again soon. Please dream of me. Kid says, what is her problem? behind these pillars or whatever. But like... Oh, god damn it. There's an important guest upstairs. We have strict orders not to let anyone through. Okay, there we go. What do you think you're doing? Says the soldiers, and now we fight them, I guess. Switch on the armrest. Push it. Okay. with me today. Anyhow. I hate these things. It's locked from the inside. says, oi, could this be? Nah, it's not the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here either. I guess I better ask the general directly then. The general says, what is it you wish to ask of me? My compliments on getting past my security. Who in heaven's name are you? Kid says, so, you're General Viper. Don't feign ignorance on me now. Why did you send your dragoons to get my mate Bunny here? Viper says, Bunny, my dragoons, I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. The mystery man says, General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. Well, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Kid says, Lynx? Lynx says, Young girl, are you? Kid says, What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I finally caught you by the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things, the frozen flame and your life. Link says, you must be Kid, a member of the fearsome band of thieves known as Radical Dreamers. Viper says, this young lady? Radical Dreamers? Link says, precisely. Don't let her innocence fool you. She's quite ferocious. Kid says, ferocious? My ass. After what you've done, Link says, I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. That fire lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, the place where past and future collide. Kid says, all right then, it looks like I'll have to put that part off till later. In the meantime, I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker.
kid says bugger. It was just a shadow. Link says, did you think I'd be stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabid dog? Just a shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you. Now, Bunny, what do you desire from this world? Do you wish to live again? Do you want to erase your demise from the pages of history? Kid says, what's wrong, Bunny? Link says, listen to me, the end of the human world is nigh. When this time comes, Bunny, there shall be a deep enmity between you and the world. This is not speculation or prediction, it's history. Kid says, bugger, this doesn't look good. Link says, you cannot escape. There's something I want to ask you. Riddell says, daddy, what's going on here? And Kid kidnaps her. Kid says, don't move a whisker if you want this girl to live. Riddell says, goodness gracious, who are you? Viper says, my darling child, you dirty bastard. Kid says, shut up, old timer, our lives are at stake here, and there's nothing dirty about saving your own life. Kid says, just stay calm and quiet and I won't hurt you. I just need you to come with us until we reach a safe place. Kid says, are you all right? Let's get out of here. Viper says, don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? Guile says, we're blocked in. Karsh says, you fiend, take your dirty hands off of her. Kid says, what do you take me for, an idiot? Kid says, bunny, this way. Link says, we have you now, vermin. There's no way out of here. Kid says, bloody hell. Viper says, let's work out a deal. Release my daughter and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Kid says, yeah, right. Like we can trust you. Kid says, eh. Link says, are you willing to jump to your death? Kid says, look out. and throws the hostage on the ground. She is then injured and appears like she's gonna fall off that balcony. Yep. Link says, what do you live for? What are you willing to die for? I've been waiting for you a long, long time. Come to me, assassin of time the chrono trigger. I jump off and Link says no. stop it here. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back on later with more.